Nimbus. The space gate to Dark World is charged up and now open. Welcome back, X, YouTube, Twitch. It's your boy KDZ bringing you guys another market watch. And again, guys, the reason why I do these videos because I have a huge passion for trading card games. I love talking about trading card games and I want to continue to build a community that has the same love and passion for admiring all those gorgeous lure windows as I do. And with that, let's get into it. Uh, did we was it, did, well, did we have enough energy to get the space gate charged up yesterday? What was yesterday? Yesterday? Ooh, actually, I don't think we had enough energy to get the space gate charged up yesterday. The last time we opened up the space gate was on uh, Saturday, the 25th. That hurts. We missed another day. We missed another day, guys, of the live stream. Hurts me big time. Um, regardless, where we left off on Saturday, we were talking about we had Raging Battle Supers up, I believe. That's where we got Quakey Mirror Power Hand right here. A card that does not have a reprint. That's from an old ass set. And an archetype that they can um give legacy to support to at any time. Uh one of the cards, uh, it was a Quakey Mirror card. It's a secret rare. Quakey. We're just gonna do that because I know ain't nothing else in Yu-Gi-Oh! Ain't all else in other card games there it is core transport unit this core is a secret rare s tier secret rare technology because of when this secret rare was created number one number two this card was dirt cheap i don't know what happened i think like when i seen this get bought out on like john's channel i always had this on my radar to pick up when i seen it get bought out on john's channel he was talking like past format like edison or something yikes Lightly paid first day at 15. Back December 19th, uh, first edition market price was 598 for this. But I, <coughs> I feel like it was even cheaper than that. I wonder how back, how far back the sales go. 10. Okay, it was a lot of sales in October for some reason. <coughs> oh, that's as far as they go back. It's August. Not very far. Um, Three months, I suppose. Nevertheless, this card used to be really, really cheap, and I had it on my radar to pick up. It's just like, you know, a, a secret rare collector of secret rares of yesteryear, and I put it off, I put it off, I put it off, and then it gets bought out, not because um, legacy support was announced for a Quakey Mural, but because it's being played once per turn, you can discard one card to add one Iron Core Quakey Mural from your deck to your hand, because it's been used in past formats. So I suppose, I mean, shout out to a core transport unit at an absolute power force does not have a reprint solo print secret rare S tier secret rare technology out of freaking absolute power force. What else we got up in here? Last time I freaking, I'm gonna have to look at the secrets. The last time I even looked at this, there's a token in this set. Okay. It's exactly. Core transport unit was around the price point of these other cheap ass secret rares. Earthbound Line Walker. It used to be an original print, but they just gave it a reprint. And I think Legendary Duel Season 3 as a common. The first reprint for it. Uh, 72 listings as well as $2. Market price three sixteen for this S tier secret rare technology card. Shield Wing. A card used by Yusei vehemently in the anime. 51 listings as well as $1.80. Market price three fifteen for this secret rare. I know it, this has reprints. It has to. Jen Desiree Rituals. This might be on the ban list. 46 listings as well as $1.14 market price, $2.15. And Z-Man the Ape King. I do own this card. This card was used in the anime as well. Who used Z-Man the Ape King? Was it Roman? I think it was Roman. It was the first time I think Roman and Yusei dueled. And then like Roman used the body. Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, yeah, and then Roman used, like, this body swap technique with Rally. Was that his name, Rally? I'm pretty sure that was his name. He used this body swap technique with Rally, and he ended up making Yusei finish the duel against Rally, and it was an Earthbound Immortal duel, so that means whoever loses, their soul gets offered up to the Earthbound Immortals. So he set Yusei and Rally up. Um on some true antagonist stuff and
had you say defeat his homie and offer up his soul to the earthbound immortal. But yeah, I think Zima and the Ape King and the underground arachnid were used in that same. No, no, no. Zima and the Ape King was used by the dark signer who battled against <coughs> Luna. <laughs> I remember now because Zima and the Ape King was when Luna freaking she used her spirit powers and went to the dual world where the dual monsters live. And Zeman the Ape King was running shit. That's what happened. And whoever was dueling her brother in the real world was using Zeman the Ape King against her brother. And then she came back and Molly Wapped an underground arachnid. That card was used against you say in the first duel. Uh <sighs> both of these cards ended up with secret rare prints, though. Here in absolute power force. That's interesting. Relatively cheap, though, especially for sat completion. If you ask me, this shield wing is a nice pickup. We're going to do a deeper dive on that, see what this is going for. Okay, so I brought a shield wing twice. Okay, up to twice per turn, it's called. We just roll about it, not destroy. You say uses that extremely nicely. Original print, secret rare. S tier. Then your legendary collection, 5Ds, it gets a rare. And duels pack 10, you say 3, it gets a common. So easily the best version of the card to pick up. Um, they're still doing the 10% back store credit on all products on TCG player, so that's cool. Uh $3.40 for lightly play first day. Let's see what max condition is. 18 max condition listings on the market. What's for uh near mint uh, max condition going for? Near mint on limbs is four. Near mint first ads is six bucks. So not bad. <sighs> really, really nice for this card. Anime card used in the anime by you say you can get it for set completion. Um, uh, for absolute power force in terms of the secret rares, as well as if you are playing past formats, this was probably used in past formats, being it up to twice per turn. If this crawl would be destroyed by battle, it is not destroyed, meaning that they would have to attack it three times to destroy it by battle in an old format. You know what I'm saying? When it's probably not that easy to be dropping two or three monsters in one turn. So it's like a level two monster that's almost guaranteed to make it towards the next round. Hence, it's secret rare rarity for the time being. That's nice, though. I'm going to leave that up. Uh, underground Arachnid. Do I have Underground Arachnid? I might have Underground Arachnid. Uh, near Mint, Max Condition. Okay, for some reason, it filtered Lightly Plates in here as well. Lightly Played First Dead is seven. Near Mint First says it's 10. There's one for 10, then 11. So not bad. It's it's about it's it's right around that ten dollar price point for max condition, which is pretty good. Like that's like a lot. Uh, my cutoff point for seeing like an Uber deal on these old secret rares, these old ultimate rares, is that ten dollar price point. If you can get max condition for ten dollars or under for a secret rare rarity, ultimate rare rarity, this old of sets, that's a super deal. It's hella brisk out here right now, though, guys, I must say. Um, Monday, November 27th, 3.31 p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, 15.31 Military Time. Like always, we're on these market watches outside alive with the live shooting live with you guys. So, you know, you're going to hear the birds and the bees, you know, your occasional monster truck drive by. But, yeah, it's, it's hella brisk, man. Honestly, I wasn't planning on like touching the trackpad too much because it's like titanium keyboard. That shit gets cold as fuck fast. But I was just gonna like uh, go to some pages and just talk about what was going on. Probably some stuff that I already had up from our smorgasbord of tabs that I just absolutely leave up. Um, Z Man, the Ape King, uh, Max Condition. Cause the copies I bought for this were lightly played. I wouldn't mind getting even Max Condition um, Unlimbs at this point. Cause I have like 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 we play first days and you can see like um some wear and tear on the corners and whatnot. So like I mean you got first days here for five bucks though. So this is an Uber deal. Z Man the Ape King, Max Condition, Anime Card, Secret Rare Rarity from Absolute Power Force.
you can get a near man first day of car for <laughs> six bucks. <coughs> nice. Shield wing, we already went over that. <coughs> Earthbound line walker. <coughs> okay, Earthbound Immortal Monsters cannot be sure about our own effects. Okay, I must not have read Earthbound Immortal cards because I didn't realize that they destroyed themselves through their own effects. But Max Conditioners, 32 Max Conditioners, the D's on the market. Again, it's bringing up Lightly Plate for us. Uh, I have no idea why. Uh, first set, again, is six bucks. So another really, really good deal. Um, it looks like he has like Rurikoshka Rashka. I think that's how you say it. Rurikoshka Rashka behind him. It's tough. Like, I'd have to watch the anime again to get the pronunciation. Uh, Chaka Tulua, that's the uh, the whale. I watched the anime recently. That duel, it was it was okay between Crow and Griger. Griger ended up becoming a dark signer. I thought that was really good writing how they wrote Crow a duel against uh Griger, who's a pretty good duelist, and it was a turbo duel. Like I thought that was really unique writing how they got that in there. Cause I was hoping Crow would be able to get a duel. Cause when I was doing the math before like the Dark Signers started dueling the regular signers i'm like yo it don't add up like crow's not gonna be able to do if all of the signers duel and like i said <laughs> they found a way in their writing to seamlessly get him a duel in there so i thought that was really really cool see guys you know you hear those shingles in the background and then like you hear the uh I mean, you hear the, the wind chimes in the background, and then you, uh, and I already told you guys it was brisk out here, so you know that cold air. Mm. And of course, guys, like always, we still doing the giveaway. All you guys need to do to enter the giveaway, slide on over to the 2TCG YouTube channel, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Like the stream and comment on the stream after it ends when it becomes a video. What is one of your top 10 favorite lure windows of any card from any game? And put the name of the set beside the card, the lure window, in the comment. And you'll be entered to win those three Sword and Shield base set packs, guys. We're just talking about your passions. Again, I'm interested. Like I said, we're going to decide the winner at the end of the week. You know, we're going to tally up all of the um, entries that, uh, you know, left a comment. We're going to assign you guys a number, and then we're going to pit um, those numbers into a random number selector, and then we're going to select the winner. Only U.S. territories for this giveaway, though, guys. But I'm interested to see what lore windows, what universes you guys are jumping into. You know, what, 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 what worlds are you guys losing yourselves in? Eminem. <laughs> you better lose yourself. Um, over here we sliding over to dual snacks. <coughs> Look at that, Crimson Dragon almost worth more than Revolution Synchron. Who called that? Who could have called that? Now, interestingly enough, guys, <coughs> you go back and look at the receipts, guys. When we were talking about dual snacks, guys, I said I could see Revolution Synchron hitting eighteen dollars. This was like four months ago. I said that. And we look right here at Secret Rare Dulles Nexus Revolution Synchron. 126 listings as well as 1999 market price 2234. Like that's scary accurate. What? I mean, but I based that off of the estimated base price of what it would cost to pull a secret rare from this set from how much the booster packs was costing it was like two dollars you see what i'm saying so it, you need 12 booster packs to pull one secret so 12 times um two the price is 24 so i was like the estimated and it's been around this price for three months the price of the booster packs so i'm like the estimated base price guys for a booster pack or for a secret in the set is 24 dollars Revolution Synchron was double that at the time. I'm like, yo, this is hella inflated. Not only is it double the estimated base price, but it's more expensive than like half of the QCSRs when you see one QCSR for every eight secret rares. So I was like, no, guys, that's hella inflated. 
and I was like, even if it did last, you know, stand the test of time until it's reprint, Revolution Synchron, the reprint was going to inevitably drop it. And I was like, go ahead and pick up your QCSRs. This was when QCSRs were around like 200 maybe. So I probably would have lost you some money on the QCSRs because <laughs> looking at the QCSRs now, 59 listings is all 71, 75, market price 94, 67. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. I would have lost you some money on the Revolution Synchron, but I would have saved you some money on buying the Secret Rare. I did not see Revolution Synchron hitting this price point, but, but, big old but. We got a lot of QCSR say cards, guys. I must say, you talk about like a new age say deck, Revolution Synchron, Assault Synchron, Crimson Dragon, um, the shooting Quasar Dragon out of Age of Overlord. Like, or was that out of, no, that was in here, that shooting Quasar thing. Yeah, Cosmic Quasar Dragon. Like, QCSR out the Yin Yang. Starlight Dra um, Stardust Dragon now got the QCSR as well. Like, you say, like, steadily but surely, his deck up max rarity same thing with dark magician like steadily but surely it up max rarity red eyes got some cards in there you got red eyes black dragon red eyes darkness metal dragon i think there's one more for red eyes but guys you start to look at the qcsrs that they've created and start to see the trends across like archetypes for them that's what decks that can run multiple qcsrs <coughs> <laughs> their personalization is just on another level than other decks, which I feel like will make them a huge fan favorite in terms of people trying to build the decks. I mean, it's it's a cinch to build them right now because all of these prices are dirt cheap. Duelist Nexus Booster Box is 71 listings as well as 42.99 mark price 40.48. So the booster boxes are going to go down. So the estimated base price for a QCSR is going to go down from these prices. Damn, $43. Um, a QCSR and Duelist Nexus would be $120. I think it's one every 72. No, it's one every it's one every uh, 96 packs. So it's $160. 160 170 would be the estimated base price. Revolution Synchron then fell down to 70 So you're getting two for one Revolution Synchron. Um, almost two for one for the Crimson Dragon. It was better value um, back when Duelist Nexus booster boxes were more expensive. Um, but the rest of these is dirt cheap. I mean, Fusion Armament 43 listings is always 24.49. A sleep near the um, runic main that sounds like something out of God of War Ragnarok. A 40 listings is always 28.48. Mark price 30.22. You got Bankai Tokusano Shinkyojin. QCSR 36 listings is lost $21 market price $24.83. That one has actually been on my radar because it's a draw card. It's a Bankai. No, I'm joking. It's not a Bankai, but it sounds like a Bankai. Um, but it's a draw card and it's QCSR. Like, what is the what is this effect? The Testina cards, they're TCG exclusive on top of this is max rarity for them. Uh, send monsters from your hand or, and or face up field to the graveyard whose total levels equal 10. Draw two cards. So you can send one monster. You can send one level 10 monster and draw two cards. So it's like it's like trading with flexibility for level 10s. Um, It's still not, it's not, and it's exactly like trading in a sense, too, that you're trading two cards for two cards, but. <coughs> <coughs> like I said, this just has more flexibility. Way more flexibility. I mean, if they create a deck that, like, pluses off of you sending, I mean, because you could send from your hand. So, like, I think. Like, what would be some cool cards to send from your hand? Like, say you sent Water Entrantress and did Bellstar to the graveyard to draw 
two cards only to proc water and trenches. So it's, this is really interesting. Like you can use this as a way to draw cards and to like proc uh, graveyard effects. Yo, this is this is really really good. <coughs> I really like this card. Again, and when I like I said, one of the greatest beneficiaries from the QCSR rarity are the spell cards. Like you got exceed monsters, fusion monsters, link monsters, and then spell cards. I mean, it's pretty close. I'll probably go Exceed Monsters, Link Monsters, then Fusion Monsters, then Spell Cards. But it's close between those Fusion Monsters and those Link Monsters in terms of Reddit's Beneficiary. But those two cards, they definitely benefit. <laughs> like always, guys, though, we can't be out here all day. Hopefully, I provided some value with this live stream market watch like Kakarot. <laughs> Send me your energy. And we're going to need a lot of energy, too, if we're going to be coming out here for a part two on this weather. Because by the time we come out here for part two, it'll be nighttime. So imagine the sun up right now. We getting some more from the sun. Yo, we just, we probably had a live stream and we'll just probably be discussing. We might move the tab like two or three times. But with that, we're going to be getting up out of here. Nimbus, are we in there? Are we in there? Yeah, we in there. 